Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gabby, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to another week of broadcasting here on Gabnet and uh, the uh, the uh, uh, Ramble, which goes on until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Yes, we we lost an hour this weekend. Where did it go? I've got an, I've got so few hours left in my lifetime. I don't want to have to like waste one like that. Well, I think maybe I'll get it back later on. Okay. Anyway, once every couple of weeks, we check in with a dear friend of ours uh, who has is always got something to say. Ladies and gentlemen, looking out his window, show show me outside your window here if you can. Look look at that. There's San Francisco, ladies and gentlemen, in the rain. There is the Pacific Ocean that you are seeing outside his... That's a nice view you've got there, mister. Look at that. And is that a... What is that? No, I guess that's just your light shining off your window. I was thinking that was a boat or something out there. Anyway, how's everything in San Francisco, California? Getting Uh, getting more expensive by the day? By the minute. (laughs) By the minute. (laughs) More congested, more crowded, uh, Uber, Lyft. We call them Lubers. Yeah. Uh, now, that, that uh, Uber and Lyft seem to be a problem for you out there because it's really clogging up traffic. It, it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Then is San Francisco going to do anything about it? Because in the old days, San Francisco would have passed some law immediately to solve that problem. Yeah. Well, London Breed is kind of... Uh, She's part of the old boy network. Uh, she's not mayor. She was mayor. She'll probably be mayor in November. Who's this? Uh, she, London Breed. She's a supervisor uh-huh. who's running for mayor because our mayor died. Ed Lee died. Yeah, right. So now the three, uh, there's like six or eight people running. Yeah. Uh, London Breed is on top of the polls. Jane Kim, who was appointed by Ed Lee as a supervisor, she's in yeah. second. Mark Leno, uh, the I know the that rats. I know that name from somewhere. Yeah, you remember Mark Leno? He was a supervisor, and then he was an assemblyman, and then he was a state senator. Yeah. Uh, so he's running in third, but he has a disadvantage of being a white male which right now is not on top of the packing order. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Angela Aliotto. Is, is Angela, tr- I, Angela's an old friend. Yeah, she's she's currently running in fourth in the polls. I always liked Angela. Kind of a gut. She's gu- mad. Huh? She's mad. Yeah, okay. I called her a gutsy broad. You know, she, she really had an attitude about her, you know. Yeah. She can do well. She yeah. can do well because everybody else is being so vanilla. Yeah. You know, and and she could go. Could, and Ed Lee was so vanilla. So yeah. maybe San Francisco is ready well, for a wrap browser. Well, no, but then again, you've got all those uh, those Silicon Valley people who moved into San Francisco, and they're all vanilla. Yeah, yeah they're they're less than vanilla. They're vanilla. They're no, they're vanilla good. extract. Yeah, they're they're plain <laughs> yogurt. Uh, Oh man! When we talk about it, let me let me explain to people because we're playing to the whole country, obviously here. Now, Angela Aliotto is part of a uh, royal family in San Francisco. They owned a fish store. They owned a restaurant, Aliotto's. So, and her 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 um, what was it? Was it, it wasn't her brother? Her, it was what was what was uh, Aliotto? Was it Joe wasn't Joe her father? Or was he her uncle? Well, wait a minute. Who's the Aliotto that died? Uh, a lot of them. Uh, well, no, but uh, what wasn't wasn't? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Wait a minute. Who? Joseph was mayor. Joseph, Joseph was mayor, there. and he got shot, right? No. no, that was Moscone. Moscone. Excuse me. I'm I'm in my old age. I'm forgetting things, but 
I use my old age as excuse for all everything I don't remember yeah, anymore. You, yeah, you can always claim the battering batteries in your hearing aid or hearing out. What? What? Even when you're not wearing a yeah. hearing aid. Yeah. So anyway, she comes from the kind of this royal family that owned a, a restaurant here in San Francisco that was very famous called Aliotos, and uh, uh, she uh, her, her 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 father yes was mayor. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, you know, and I always, I always had her on my show and she was just like gutsy and fun and, you know, I like that in a, in a politician. I figure a politician who can't laugh, I don't vote for, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, like Donald Trump doesn't have a sense of humor. Well, well, sense of humor shows is a sign of intelligence to me. In other words, being able to get jokes is, in, is intelligent. It's the person in the room who goes, what do you mean? <laughs> when you tell a joke that you know is stupid, okay? Oh yeah, uh, Trump is stupid. Trump, Trump is not intelligent. Um, he went to Wharton Business School, one of the best business schools in the country. Yeah, who took the test for him? I have no idea. Oh, I know. Yeah, so apparently he didn't learn anything there because you know this whole thing about steel and aluminum, he hasn't got a good grasp on. He, no, he doesn't understand that if you raise the tariff 25 percent on on Chinese steel, that they're going to raise the price of steel twenty five percent. And then what does that do? That comes back to bite us in the ass, the consumers. He doesn't doesn't even think about that. Well, he fired uh, Secretary Tillerson. Of State. Yeah, Tillerson. Tillerson yeah. Is how many people is this now? They have a list. And it's like it's getting longer every day. People who have either left or been fired. He thinks he's doing the, the he thinks he's doing the apprentice is what he thinks he's doing. Yeah, he just gets to fire people. This is his dream job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is amazing. It, we're 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 in so deep doo doo. It is just. Yeah, may you live in interesting times. Well, no, that is, these aren't even interesting. These are scary, stupid times, okay? I don't, I don't know how to put it any better. I mean, it's just stupid. It's just dumb. Yeah. But people love him. The people who love him love him because of exactly why uh, we hate him, uh, because he has no couth. And they want well. He's as not dumb. Someone he, like them. He's not. He's not like them. A lot of a lot of people have couth, you know, who like him. It's it's that he is so anti Washington. He is so he's a he's a junkyard dog, and that's and that's what they want in there. Well, is we're a, all we're all anti Washington, but you can't ignore Washington. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to ignore Washington. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I, I mean, it, I, it's a factor. I, it's a fact of life. Now, you tame it. That's a good way of putting it is you tame it. I'll tell you where he's really stupid. And I'll tell you where they're really stupid. And that's when it comes to the press. You know, this constant bashing of the press, constant bashing of the press. Uh, he thinks that's to his advantage because whenever they say something about him, like, you know, hey, you fucked a porn star, he can say fake news. Fake news. The press. They're out to get me. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I think maybe it's time the press just said, you don't like us? Then we're not going to cover you. And not go to all these, these, these rallies and not cover them. It will drive him fucking bats. Well, that's, that's the problem. Is yeah. that uh, they're not making these decisions. I mean, the fact that they would cover a Republican president doing a rally in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on a Saturday night. And they would show this rally live, even though today, Tuesday, the following Tuesday, there's a special election in a district close to Pittsburgh, part of Pittsburgh, that uh, a Republican is in deep trouble. And the fact that they would do this is, is so helpful to him yeah. and his cause that it, the problem is most correspondents and reporters are smart liberals, but most of their 
bosses, the people who own the networks and the newspapers, are smarter conservatives. And, and they love Trump because of the eyeballs that he brings to their little enterprises, either their newspapers or CNN covered it live on a Saturday night. This rally. Well, uh, let me let me let me throw this in as a broadcaster. I think one of the reasons they cover it is when you're doing 24 seven news, you got so much time to fill that a that a, a speech he's giving somewhere gives you an hour respite. You know, it you, gives you an you hour. Remember uh, an Obama's rally being covered live? No. For its entirety? No. And most presidents do go out to the hinterlands to do some kind of politicking, either for some kind of uh, thing they're trying to get passed or just because, they, you know, they're out there supporting a politician. But right, we sure. don't cover all of those. But what I'm saying is it seems as though the press has become codependent with Trump. Uh, that's, a, that's a good phrase, yeah. Yeah, the codependent on, on, on Trump. And uh, they they're willing to take the beating when they go out there. I mean, I would if I were running a network and he started bashing the press in a speech I was covering, I would say, cut the cameras. Fuck him. You know, he doesn't get any more coverage from us. You know, he does something that we, that's worth reporting. We'll report it. But we're not going to cover every time he sneezes somewhere or farts somewhere because he so dominates the news now. <laughs> you know, and that's his doing. He does. He wakes up in the morning, and says, "How can I get more press today?" Exactly, exactly. And and we're falling into his trap. He, he, we are codependent on him. He is also the crying baby that you shouldn't be picking up all the time because he'll keep crying. You know, I think if we, if the press just said, "Well, you don't like us, fuck you. We don't like you either. We're not going to cover you," it would drive him bats. I, th I think it's even worse than this. I think he's what he's doing is he's laying a base to uh, cut down and press freedoms, and he'll he'll just start issuing edicts, and maybe he'll have the Supreme Court packed. I don't know. I don't know what he expects out of this, but I think he's laying a base. I think he's smarter than we give him credit for. Well, smart. He's smart like a fox. Okay, but that doesn't make the fox any better an animal, you know, uh, any slyer an animal, any less disgusting when it comes to killing chickens, <laughs> you know. I mean, I just, I, I just, I'm just amazed that the press just, you know, oh, you want to bash us? Okay, to keep the cameras rolling. Fuck you. Just fuck you. You don't like us? You don't want us? We won't cover you. We'll cover yeah. we'll cover the important stuff like you know when they when you when you hear that uh, uh, Kim Jong Un wants to talk to you that's news okay but you going to Philadelphia isn't news fuck you you know and uh, you know well you however there are news items we are going to cover Stormy Daniels being one of them okay and in fact uh, you hear, hear now that of course CBS has uh, done a sixty minutes piece on uh, Stormy Daniels. Uh, and the White House is trying to stop them from showing it. Yet the White House, yet Trump says, I never had anything to do with Stormy Daniels. Who's Stormy Daniels? I don't see a Stormy Daniels. And yet every time she tries to do something, they've got the lawyers out in full force. Yeah, I, I think she should just go for it and, and say, as you say, fuck it, what, what are you going to do? Yeah. She's afraid of... of uh, something she signed the 130 grand yeah but if he didn't sign it you know if that was part of, that seems to be part of the deal that he didn't sign it and she claims that she's not bound by there's it. just one problem she accepted the 130,000 so that's kind of a admission that you consider it legal you know there are all kinds of little nuances here she's willing to give back the 130,000 uh, I'll help fork out some of that if she needs it because i want to hear what she's got to say on 60 minutes i want to oh, find out how i want to right. find out how big his penis is you know it's, he's got it. huh it's bent it's bent yeah like like uh, like uh, like clinton's it's bent it's got uh, oh, oh oh really there's a bend to it what's what's that called there's a term for it uh, a pri yeah uh, uh, 
priapesis or something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a little curve some guys have in their penis, which, you know, <laughs> you can put a, you can put a splint on it. You know, I don't know what you do. With it. Priap Percy, it's called sorry. priapism is what it's called. That's priapism, it. Yeah. yeah. Um, isn't it amazing that when we're discussing politics and the president in that discussion, <laughs> we're discussing what a bent penis is called. I was just thinking that this morning because they showed a picture of the president with Stormy Daniels. Yeah. And I was thinking, man, she looks better than Monica Lewinsky. Because we used to see the president hugging Monica Lewinsky in that rope line. Yeah. And that was always the shot that they showed. And here it's Trump with the porn star. <laughs> you know, this is strange. Maybe sorry, this adult film star. This is you my know. maybe this is my fucked up DNA. I don't know, but I I found Monica Lewinsky sexy. Sexier than the porn star. Yeah, mainly to begin with, her tits are real. You know, I mean, yeah. There's there's something very Trumpy about her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Because his whole being is designed around pressing an advantage. The fact that he's got more power or that he doesn't care or that uh, he's got money and uh, he'll just turn away or he'll lie, he'll cheat, he'll steal, he'll do anything to press his advantage. You know, he doesn't care. He has no moral compunctions. Maybe with his family he does, but otherwise... And that's his, uh, I don't know if you would call it even, uh, that's his advantage, uh, the fact that he will do anything to anybody for any reason. And she has that same look about her. <laughs> yeah, well, here's the thing. Where Monica he, Lewinsky was a cute little Jewish girl. Yeah, and we're forgetting about the Playboy Playmate he fucked, too. And this is all about a couple of weeks after uh, uh, Melania gave birth to Barron. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, who said that last night? Was it Jake Tapper or was it on a, on a repeat of Meet the Press? Oh, did you see Meet the Press? No, I, I watched it, but I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. Chuck Todd was talking to Mnuchin. Uh, he wasn't uh, letting him get away with anything, was he? He was pissed because the night before, yeah. Trump had called him out loud chuck todd oh. a sleepy son of a bitch and it was hysterical because at the end what, what did he say about chuck todd that he was a sleepy son of a bitch oh really and and maxine waters has a low iq right yeah. so he he brought those those two names up so todd never asked mnuchin about the insult to himself but he asked about the insult to maxine waters and and uh and at the end, he kept pressing him on it, pressing him on it. At the end, Mnuchin he said, well, you know, he these are just rally things. He, he, he makes up funny names at rallies. And, you know, he just has a good time at rallies. And, and as a throwaway, because it was the end of the interview, uh, Chuck Todd goes, yeah, hysterical. <laughs> 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 and closed the interview. And then... When they did the round table at the end, just as they're closing down, that's it. We'll see you next week. And they had talked about the time change, you know, the fact that uh, Sunday morning after the time change, you know, when you set your clocks ahead an hour, everybody had lost an hour of sleep. Yeah. And uh, and um, I forget if it was Cokie Roberts, but somebody, I forget who it was, who said to uh, Chuck Todd, well, that explains why you're so sleepy-eyed. <laughs> And the whole the whole cast bro broke up. It was hysterical. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hysterical. Yeah. Uh, 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 Steve Mnuchin is the uh, the brother in law of some friend of my wife's. Oh no shit. Yeah. Yeah. They said he and he's even said he's an asshole. <laughs> well, he's he's got the Mitch McConnell disease yeah. where or he did, nothing yeah. in his face moves when he talks. Yeah. And, Except for his bottom jaw, he, he well, talks. Well, I, I love the toadies. They 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 trot out on Sunday shows because they're all such robots about yeah. Trump. It's like they don't want to say anything bad about Trump for fear they'll get fired, they'll get thrown off the island. You know, this is like a reality fucking show. 
Well, Chris Christie was on uh, Stephanopoulos without Stephanopoulos, and and uh, you could see Chris Christie angling because the reason Chris Christie got bounced from being part of the administration was because when he was a federal prosecutor, he put Jared Kushner's dad in prison. Yes. So that's why he got apt because of Kushner. Kushner said, no, I'm not going to. And now Kushner's in trouble. So you could see Christie kind of like angling to to uh, talk nice about Trump in case he can come back into the fold. So they were asking him questions. And you could see him looking into the camera, knowing he was speaking to one guy, knowing he was speaking to Trump, making making uh, you know rationalizations about Trump. Oh, this is the way he's always been, and and he's a decision maker, but he makes his decisions his own way, and and he's being very cagey. He's because he thinks Kushner is on the outs, and that if if so, then he gets to come back. Wow. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I think I think Kushner's in a I think Kushner's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, it's impossible to know what to do with the in-laws, you know. Yeah, but because I, what do Ivanka and Jared do, you know? It, they, he builds buildings and owes money on them, you know. Well, he bought six six six. Yeah. Well, maybe you know? maybe just that yeah. address alone was a good reason not to buy it. Yeah, well, <laughs> they should have changed it six six eight. You know, they do, on most buildings, there's not a 13th floor, okay? It goes 14, you know, 12, 14, just out of bad luck. Out of respect. Yeah, so I don't (laughs) think you would have a 666. And they bought it in 2007, I mean, right at the height, right before, you know, everything, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, he, uh, uh, but it's just... Greed. Yeah. Are we ever going to see this pet president chased out of office is the question. Everything is all dependent on November. It's all dependent on November. Uh, hell, we'll know a lot more tonight after Pittsburgh's uh, congressional seat because uh, Trump won that district by 20 points. And now his, 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 it's, it's a, it's a toss-up. You know, between the Democrat and the Republican. It's so. uh, it's what it's it's a tie right now, and it shouldn't right be. Now. They say it shouldn't be. This other guy no. should be like the Republican should be way ahead of this. Uh, yeah, this 18, 18, 20 points ahead. But here's the thing: that uh, congressional district is being chopped up, is being, I think, eliminated uh, in some kind well, of that specific district. Yeah. I mean, they'll so still what they're doing is they're of- is they're running for something that they're not going to have. Uh, well, it depends on when the Pennsylvania Supreme Court's new districts uh, come into play. Supposedly, it will be during this term, which would put them, whoever gets elected, without a without a congressional district. But they could run in the new congressional yes, district. Yes, that they can that do, they but they have to rerun again. Well, no, they, they yeah, they would have uh, to They run wouldn't it. just be assimilated into that new district. Uh, no. Because this district will be gone, and neither one uh, after, no matter who wins tonight, yeah. uh, they will not be uh, a resident of the district that they represent after the new lines come in. So, yeah. <laughs> it's very convenient. But in November. And supposedly these two guys will be, because of where they live, in two different districts. Yes. So they will not so they run will- against each other. They, no, the, in, in November they will not run if the if if the Supreme Court doesn't strike down the Pennsylvania Supreme Court's decision, which is a, a possibility. I we mean, don't know nothing. Well, we don't know nothing. Yeah, it's, but in November, in November, if the if the race is fair, the Democrats will take the House, and then they can start up different committees. Then they'll have seniority. They'll run committees. They'll be the majority. And they can investigate Trump to their little heart's content. I, I'm I'm running this campaign. I, I said this on Facebook that anybody who who passes Devin Nunez, uh, the representative from who who disbanded the, the re, he's an the asshole. This guy, that guy, is a major fucking toady asshole, ass reaming, cock sucking. I just want I want people anybody who who walks past him or sits near him. I just want them to say. 
stupid twat. Every time they pass him, just just within his earshot, not out loud, not not shout it, yeah. don't confront him, don't look him in the eye. Just when you pass him in the hall, just go stupid twat. Yeah. Every time, so he hears it over and over, but he's not sure if he's hearing it. So, <laughs> what what does he what does he expect to what does he expect to get out of out of Trump just by being such a fucking toady? Dude, this is power. the guy, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, who wrote the, who wrote the memo, right? The yeah. Republican memo that was uh, Trump let go. He he didn't want to let the uh, the Democratic memo out. But he let this one out, and He's Nunez. The, chair of the House Intelligence Committee. The House in, well, Intelligence. What an oxymoron that is! <laughs> it's like saying vegetarian butcher. Yeah, exactly. It's Stephen exactly. Hawking, super secret scuba tips. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! We're living in oh, end times. End times. What kind of coffee are you doing today? I do uh, Pete's, and I do this is, uh, Pete's. This is that's Pete's. Yes, Pete's uh, Major Dickinson's Dickinson's. Oh, I, I like Major Dickinson's. Yeah, you uh, know what? You know what? I've really gotten a like about Pete Pete's coffee, basically, folks. In case you don't know, Pete's is the he and and uh, the other guy started Starbucks, and then they broke up, and he started Pete's. And Pete's has been on the West Coast for years now, and I think is a much more preferred coffee than Starbucks. And yeah, they, have like new, they have one new. They have one new K. I do the K cups because I'm the only one in the house that drinks coffee uh, during the day or at night. You do the generic K cups and then fill it with your own. No, coffee? no, I'm too lazy for that. I'm too lazy for that. But I've got. Uh, I'm using Big Bang is the name of the of the of the type of coffee, and it's really good. This this happens to be Dickinson's this morning, or Dixon's or whatever it is. Major Dixons, yeah. Major I, Dixons. I, uh, the, every January, February, they come out with this special edition called Ethiopian Supernatural. It's got a little taste of blueberry in way, way, way in the back. It's not like up front, but it's like liquid crack. And so Ethiopian I got, what? I got to look for it. Supernatural. Oh, really? It's, it's literally supernatural. And it's like liquid crack. And I bought three pounds and I have... Uh, I've bought five pounds. I've gone through two, and I have now I've gone through three, yeah. and I have two in the freezer. Yeah. That uh, that, and then I cut it with half a French roast decaf. Yeah, so, so you, that I have yeah half calf. I drink half calf, so I can drink more. Yeah, so you 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 actually make yourself a pot of coffee. You don't do the K cups. Uh, I, even the best K cup I ever found still tasted like plastic. Really. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just, if I made a whole pot of coffee, I would never get through it all day, you know? So oh. I do, I, I do a cup maybe during the morning and a cup at night and that's it, you know? Right I tonight I had to do a cup because I took a Xanax to put me to sleep last night and I had to wake myself up for you. Oh, wow. Yeah. So sorry. Hey, so Will Durst, uh, anywhere you're playing that we should know about in case people uh, are listening from San Francisco? Still doing my little one-man show. I've updated it, and I'm going to keep updating it. It's called uh, Durst Case Scenario Midterm Madness, and you can see schedule at willdurst.com, and I do commentaries once a week, and they're there, and I do, write a column once a week, and that's there. I, I indicated, and blah, blah, and who do you do? Yeah, and, and, and we might add that, uh, you know, that, that Will is uh, – yeah, no, I don't have anything to add. Why was no. I saying that? No, nothing uh, to add. You know, but uh, Will is, uh, is I think... And I'm going to be part of your reunion show when you come back to San Francisco. Yeah, if we ever get around to that. I've got, I'm, I'm working, we're, we're going to start working on it as soon as Gary, my business manager, is through with tax season. <laughs> because Excellent. during tax season, you can't even call him. You no, know, no. You know, no, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, and every year this keeps coming around and around. But you know, and after I pay my taxes this year, I may need to do that reunion show just to pay the taxes. You know, I always is uh, something we we never can quite come out even enough. You know, and I'm not even working. Okay. Yeah, I have so many expenses. I never pay taxes. You, you never pay taxes, right? Okay, and you're a political comic, so they're not going to come after you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Will Durst. Thank you, Will. 
Thanks, Alex Bennett. Bye-bye. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey, okay. Thank you very much, Will. I hope you enjoyed our little time with Will. It is always a pleasure to have him on the program. He's intelligent and uh, full-bodied. Okay. By the way, that uh, Ethiopian Supernatural, uh, I looked it up just now on, uh, uh, on my favorite place for shopping, Amazon, and I found out I'm already drinking it. Uh, the stuff they refer to as Ethiopian Supernatural is named, at least in the K-Cup version, Big Bang. And that's I, I said that was like my favorite coffee that I've been uh, been uh, 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 drinking, and uh, son of a bitch, I've been drinking it. Anyway, let me see here. We got to get our citizen panel thing together. Let me get out of the music panel. Let me put up uh, Skype. There we go. There's Skype. Um, let me see here. There we go with that. And then let me open up the uh, <clears throat> the lines here. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. My most pleasant, wonderful thing that I got today was that I came up, well, our lines are open, by the way. Uh, I got a, uh, a thing from, uh, I, got a, I wrote up an a update of a spot that we have here, which is not up to date because I changed the, um, the website a few weeks ago, and all the things we were saying were in certain places in this spot were changed. So uh, I asked Rob if he'd revoice it, and he not only revoiced it, but he reimagined it. And if you ever get to hear the spot, it's the, the bus tour of our web page. And it only shows what a fucking genius Rob can be when he really enjoys doing some production. So I, I uh, want to... Uh, actually, I'd play it for you now, only now I'm waiting for people to call the show, so... Uh, maybe, maybe I could still play it. Well, no, because then if I, people call at the same time that it's playing, it, it plays off, uh, let me see here. Can I do it off of this? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see if, uh, if you guys don't, oh, well, somebody's calling. Okay. There he is. There's John Perulis, ladies and gentlemen, is calling us. Let me, uh. Let me, there, Hi, Alex. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. And uh, Scott Boddicker is calling. Uh, it must be a rare night tonight because uh, Scott doesn't call as much as he used to. We can barely see you, though, because there's no light on your face, Scott. Yeah, I'm in the bedroom. I'm kind of hidden. I, oh, i got to shut the other thing off. Yes, you got to shut it off. Uh, we're, yeah, I can hear you just fine. Hey, and, uh, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you? Are you? Ah, there we go. There, that's better. You're in your bedroom, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, ca he, ca he kind of looked like uh, Robert De Niro. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you well, can't. I get that a lot of, even in the daylight. You can't yeah. tell whether he looks like Robert De Niro because it's kind of like. You know, well, I've been, I've been, I've been thrown into the other, into the bedroom and and uh, and uh, my wife is out in the living room, so. Oh, okay. So you could. TV. I'm watching the election results and whatnot. Oh, what's happening in I'll those? Be later. What's happening in those election results? Anything so far? It's fifty-fifty. It's it's like too close to call. They're going to have to go to the absentee ballots. It looks like. Oh boy. So, last I heard, there was what about five hundred and thirty-five votes for the Democrats. Yeah, yeah, it's tight. It's tight. The Democrats up a smidge. Uh, the two or three counties uh, that have not, or precincts that haven't reported yet, do they lean Democratic or do they lean Republican? Uh, I I think what they're saying is the 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 Republican counties have more to report than the Democratic county, but they think most of the absentee ballots are from the Democratic side, which is a, actually a suburb of Pittsburgh. So there's more. So it's 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 a toss up it's it's going to be close this now, is, the, it, I, this is kind of democrat. this kind of would be a big deal though if the, if the democrat won, wins you know uh well, not really but it'll yeah be. it is because they're flipping if they flip a very red uh seat uh but i think this is only good for like what 7 months it expires yeah, in about 7 months deal. 
Yeah, because the, the district, what, the district disappears, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to, they're gonna, like uh, Will Durr said, they're going to uh, redraw the lines because this thing is really ugly looking uh, a pre or a precinct there. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it on the TV or not, but yeah. it kind of looks like, I don't even know what it looks like. It's it looks just, like something a Republican drew. Yeah, well, if the Democrat the night, wins, yes. if the Democrat wins, they won't want to redraw the lines. But, uh, you know, the, no, the no, thing they, is, they, they, they what they're, now, is he a war hero? Uh, he's, a, he's a Marine. I don't know if he's a hero. I mean, we're all heroes if we serve, right, Alex? Uh, right, I served. My, Phil didn't. <laughs> Phil didn't. Phil the coward just chickened hey, out. Hey, you know, yeah, he served. Uh, uh Lunch and dinner, and uh, you know, right. Uh, so, but uh, I, you know, he's a uh, he's a good looking, uh, he's very good looking candidate. Yeah, I'd vote for him. You know, uh, you know, when you look at Sacone and and you look he's at this guy, yeah, huh? yeah, he, he he just looks like uh, I, I don't know. I, well, I, norm, I normally, I'm I'm sure I'm sure that this particular election happening. Uh, down in where uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Uh, would be under normal conditions, not even paid attention to, but yeah. it's being yeah. looked upon because Trump carried this particular air, this particular congressional district by like twenty percent or something like yeah. that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and and so if this guy loses after Trump went down there and gave a speech on his behalf. It's kind of a referendum for or against Trump. Or you I think say, so. Yeah. You could say maybe it would have been much worse uh, for that uh, for Sacone if uh, Trump hadn't gone there and yeah. stumped for the guy. Uh, I, I, mm. I it, it, it could be true. Could be. I kind of hey, what when Trump was doing his stumping for this guy, and he <laughs> barely mentioned the dude. All Trump did was talk about Trump. Yeah, he yeah, and he also he also he called Maxine Waters low IQ Maxine Waters. Now wait. Yeah, a minute. Mnuchin agreed with that statement. No, he didn't agree with the statement. He said, "Oh well, that's just showbiz, Donald." That's basically how he's trying to excuse it. No. All right. But well, who, I mean, look, so even Phil, who does not like Maxine <laughs> Waters <laughs> and hates Maxine <laughs> Waters, you wouldn't say she had a low IQ, would you? I, I, I would say lock her up. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, hey, but hey, wait a minute. No, no, but wait a minute. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even Rick say Tillerson that. Rick Tillerson did right was, you know, the one thing I could agree with Rex Tillerson is calling out Trump is a moron. No, I think he said <laughs> fucking moron. Yeah. So there you go. And, and, but, uh, but anyway, the point is, Phil, you, you got to agree. Uh, Maxine Waters doesn't have a low IQ. I mean, you wouldn't even say that. I, I don't like anything Maxine Waters. I, I'm not her, asking you that. Mouth. I know you hate her, but you wouldn't she's say a she's a moron. She, if you think I think Maxine Waters is more of a moron than you think Trump is. That's that's oh, how no, much no, 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 no. There, uh, 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 pinheads are less morons than you know. Uh, hey, what what state is Stormy Daniels from? I think she should run for something, you know. Well, she's running maybe. for a million bucks, but you know, wait a minute. That, maybe am I right, should... right? Somewhere in the South, isn't it, uh, uh, is Scott? I, I, she, don't, I don't know. She she's got to run where there's a lot of frat boys, there's a lot I'll... of you know young millennial guys. Then she'll win. She'll win something. You mentioned very something very interesting. Stormy Daniels' attorney, I saw him on the news this morning, yeah. and he's saying that we just want to return the $130,000 so we can tell our story. Uh -huh. Well, i tell you something. If she wants to return the $130,000, I think she should donate it to you know the uh, kids that lost their lives in, uh, in Florida. No no, 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 no. Look, that would be nice, but the fact no, is that no. the reason she would return the 130000 is to the person who gave it to her. That would be the way of getting out of it. Not done. huh? I'm not done. Yeah. Tommy Daniel <laughs> sta is saying that the reason she wants to return that money is so that she can tell her story and she's not there for the money. Well, I got news for you. What she should do is say any money after I return this, any money that comes in uh, for a book or for this or for that should go 
uh, to a charity, and she shouldn't get one i one stinking dime of it. And then let's see if she's so quick to return the hundred and thirty grand and tell her story. Phil, Phil, uh, Phil, Phil, what does Stormy Daniels do for a living? She's a whore. No, she's not. She's a porno actress. There's a difference between an actress and a whore. Yeah, uh, what? One gets paid. <laughs> Uh, well, no, the whore, the whore makes more. Uh, you know, look, Stormy Daniels is nothing but looking for her 30 minutes of fame right now. And if Donald Trump wasn't Donald Trump, she would have taken that 130 grand and, and she would have been down the road. But she's looking at another payday. And I think it's disgusting that her attorney is sitting there saying, well, we just want the truth to get out. That's all Stormy hey, wants. Hey, look, she just look, wants the look, truth. Uh, what what's wrong with uh, Rob's got problems with uh, his connection? Yeah, he was he was having some problems. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, uh, no, no, I, but, uh, I mean, but her but, kind but, of prostitution the, is yeah. respectable. But the whores that are in the uh, White House and the Congress, there's no topping that. Well, hey, uh, other than the fact that she's hot, would you take her home to meet your mom? Who, who uh, Stormy Daniels? Stormy. Yes, I would, but my mother's dead, so we'd have to go to the cemetery. <laughs> you guys, if I can, if I can find her grave, yeah. since I haven't got a tombstone yeah, on you're, it, you're on now. Can you guys hear me? Because I can't hear you. Yeah, I can, we can hear you. I hear yeah. nothing coming over the wire. See, you guys are yeah. nodding. Yeah, I hear nothing, and I don't know why. It's something. I hear it ring when it's trying to ring. Yeah, but I can't hear any voices. Go to your go to your settings and see if you if somehow you don't have it set so you can hear it. You know, um, but oh wait, he can't hear me telling him that. So, no, he can't hear you. Yeah, he can't uh, hear you. Yes, Renee. I have two points. One is, first off, I would really like Larry Bubbles Brown to record and and put up on iTunes so that I can buy the ringtone going hooker, hooker. Yeah. <laughs> because nobody knows what I, we're talking about, but yeah. Well, well then say it better than I do. Well, no, it, because, it's just, he has, he has a line he uses and he just sometimes just goes hooker. You know, I can't even do it. You know. And it's perfect. Okay. And it hold hold on a second. We got a problem with, with, uh, with Rob. Uh, Rob. How can we solve okay. this problem? Because everybody else can hear me, and you can all hear each other. Yeah, uh, just froze on me. So is he? Uh... Yeah. Hey, Rob, if you still hear us, why don't you reboot everything? Some, he can't you know... hear nothing. He... Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Hmm. Somebody make a right sign. I got an idea. Yeah. I'll make hold on. Hold on. Good. Hold on a second. Stay where you are, people. He needs to go oh, to Rob YouTube. Just took off. Uh, Rob Alfano. Let me see here. Add to group call. Okay. Let's see if he comes up. Now, what happened to? Uh... Uh, John. Oh, oh, John. oh, there. Oh, 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 it was when John moved away. It was just a, it's a black background. So, so oh. Phil, stop whining about what the hook, what the <laughs> actress is doing. The who? Because literally, yeah, reboot. <laughs> I'm, hold it back. So for how a, many times can you use the R two one two? Uh, 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 John, hold it back further. It's you're not. Well, he can't. He can't see you anyway because he isn't uh, on. Right he hasn't now. put his camera on yet. Or he is, or he is uh, up. Maybe. I can don't you know. guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So I'm on my iPhone because I rebooted my computer. Oh. See, there you go. <laughs> I see. So you're just you're just doing audio right now, right? Yeah. Rob. Rob, yeah, you're you're just doing audio right now, right? What's that? You're just doing audio right now, right? You, um, you didn't call us. I don't know what I'm doing, you, quite frankly. You, you didn't call us with fact, video. I can't real. I have to put you to my ear in order to hear. Let's. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, but you. You're, now you're, I hear you. We can hear you before. You're just doing audio only, right? Uh, yeah, because I'm on my iPhone. Yeah. I'm logging again. What the hell is all that? <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on on my computer. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, Scott, you yeah. got a four-post brass bed? Or is that one of your girls? No, that, it's maybe four-post, I guess. They're small. Yeah. yeah, I used to tie people up on those bad boys. It, uh... It makes too much bumping noise against the back wall, though. Twice sucks, huh? 
Oh, boy. And your point was what? <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's get back for a moment to Stormy Daniels. First of all, she's not a hooker. She's a she's, she's from a, Louisiana, she's a, Baton Rouge. She, she's oh, really? she's okay. she's an adult film actress. Uh, forget about actress. She's not very good at acting. But so she sells her body. No, no, uh, no, no. Uh, she no, doesn't. He, no, she doesn't. She does it on tape instead no, of she in doesn't. some no, stranger no. bedroom. No, to begin with, no. to begin with, she has. She has her choice of the men that are going to be in it with her. So she, she has, you know, a hooker has her choice. She, could she say, oh, is no, giving away. She is she some she is allowing her body to be photographed while having sex, but she is not standing on a street corner or sitting in a hotel room or at a bar waiting for people to pick her up and then she charges them for a blowjob or a fuck. Or, or you mean like a hundred and thirty thousand dollar fuck? That she picked up uh, in uh, was it Mar-a-Lago? Uh, is that is that, is that is that where she was? It showing? wasn't Mar-a-Lago, I don't think. It's it's your guy that bought the goods. So hey. you blame you blaming the female isn't gonna catch it because it's hey. your guy who bought the goods. Why his wife? Was then why is it the why is it the pro that always gets arrested? It's why your it guy. It's no, 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 no. My guy's just a John. Oh, snap. Just, what, 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 hang on. We're, we're back to this is what happens to farm workers. All right. Here's the deal. Oh, did they farm bust get the laid? person that, is, that comes over the line to be the farm worker, but they don't bust the jackass who hires them. So, uh, Phil, Trump This is hired just another her. what about, as Alex would say. What do you mean? It's not a what about. It has not, it's not what a what about about ism. Farm workers. What about the farm workers? No, we, we got a we got a we got a high priced hooker that that's that is not uh, a high price. She story. is not a hooker. There is a vast difference or a vast difference. Booker the hooker. Um, that's what she is. Booker the hooker. And, and it's, and it's well, Phil's going into one of his stupid rants again. Hey, hey, I'm the, I'm ranting. I'm not talking about farm workers. I'm talking about somebody that took $130,000 because she banged some guy. And, so the, and she white was guy won't put anyway. the white guy in jail or hey, on She trial. was a power banger. She just wanted, you know, the hey, white guy you know, won't bump put a billionaire. The white guy hey, in hey, jail he was a one. philandering husband on a wife who just had a baby two weeks earlier. Think about that Probably one. He hadn't had how do you how do you much. how do you feel about the morality of that, Phil? There are plenty of men that just, actually that's the point. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Trump denies it. Okay, he denies it. Do you believe him, Phil? Oh, of course. I believe Maxine Waters is 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 high IQ too. As much as I believe he didn't bang that. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. But he says he didn't. But how come if he didn't? His lawyers are trying to keep her from going on 60 Minutes. Well, because bingo, she, bingo. You know, you know how come it's... her lawyers are saying if you say anything, uh, we're going to file suit for a million dollars? Why are they doing that if Trump didn't do anything? Well, maybe he did. It, he, but he's acting. He, he's he acting. And now, and I also want to know where deal. are the fucking evangelicals? Where are they in this whole matter? Evangelicals are in the same spot they were when Jack Kennedy was banging Marilyn Monroe. They're nowhere to be found okay. because they're full of shit, too. But I can tell you that... Can you, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold, than hold, hold on a second. Can you hear us, Rob? I hear you. Oh, good. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> hey, I, I have to stand up for men here, and, and not that I am one, but let me, let me do this. No, here's the deal. I personally do not know a man who screwed a f adult film star or a hooker while their wife was pregnant. I don't know a man that has done that. And to say that that is some, and for us to accept that as some sort of normality is bullshit because I can turn to Scott and say, Scott, your wife was pregnant three times. Did you go see a hooker or a prostitute or a <laughs> film? Not <laughs> once. <laughs> not, not once. So for you to say, so the difference is, is that Scott is a man and Trump is an adolescent male. Listen, I listen. More it, men that have not cheated than I do I, know have I, I, I was a horn dog, but if I had a wife and she had just given birth to a baby, 
I wouldn't, after two weeks, go out and run around screwing some other women. Maybe four weeks, but not two weeks, okay? Hey, it was more like a couple of months, I think. For you know. nine months. The guy didn't get anything for nine months. Uh -oh. wait, 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 how, wait a minute. If he didn't get anything for nine months. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What makes you think that because somebody's pregnant, you can't have sex with them? No. Got to give it up, man. He had no I'm sure. Wait a minute. Say, wait, Rob, Rob, listen to Rob. Listen to Rob. Rob? And who has no character, Phil. He has no character. He has no character with his women in his life. He has no character for people who work for him. He has no character for people. He fired Rex Tillerson today. Why? On Without Twitter. On Twitter. On Twitter. On Twitter. He, he didn't have the guts have, to tell him personally. He had the balls. Rex, Tell Rex Tillerson was on the payroll a lot longer than he should have been because if Rex Tillerson uh, called uh, me uh, as the no. president a fucking <laughs> moron, I... Uh, not the point. Well, it is. That's you what him. And, and you be a man and say, look, dude, it's not working out, and I'm going to bring on somebody else. Thank you for your – what he said to, this afternoon was presidential when he said, I wish him the best. He's a, you know, All right, but he did not come across and say anything to this man, and he hasn't done that with anybody. But hey, I'm trying to show you guys. I don't know how to do this on Skype. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about prostitutes? Take a look at this. This is the Democrats who've taken money to deregulate the banking industry, wimpy and pathetic as Dodd Frank is. You want to talk about prostitution? Here it is, guys. Stormy yeah. Daniels is a saint compared to this bullshit. Compared to that bullshit. Look at our people rolling right yeah. over. Yeah. Who, who's at the top of the it list there? People. Bennett. Alex Bennett. Alex, Alex Bennett got three million nine hundred thousand. Bennett? Who's Bennett? Jesus Christ from Colorado, Virginia, he, Colorado. He got thirty nine hundred dollars. Oh, and Kane. Uh, three three Kane. million nine hundred thousand. Look at Kane. Look at Kane. Look at Kane. Yeah. yeah what a piece of shit. What a piece of garbage. They're he all was just the vice president. You're McCaskill. You're McCaskill got 1.7. Here we go. Bennett, uh, 3,900. 39, 3, 3, 000. 000. Warner, 3,500,000. Kane, these are all Democrats, though. Yeah. Two, two million. Yeah. Uh, talk about wow. These are all yeah, Democrats. Talk about wars. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is this list created by Republicans, and are they leaving off Republicans? in this by on purpose what's, what's the source uh let me check it yeah it, it... well it was from so okay. remember it oh it from... came it came in from a facebook friend called millennials for revolution on uh, facebook could be, could be russian for all you know yeah, <laughs> yeah because i mean the, the, no, you got, this, uh, this can be checked it, there's uh no no what i'm saying is there have got to be some wow. Republicans who take that kind of money too. Well, it's not all Democrats. Yeah. So They're that's a list of Democrats who did it, not Republicans yeah. who did it. But you know, the Democrats are supposed to be the ones looking up for the little guy. Not you true. know, the Democrats don't represent shit anymore. Look, if, they if, they if, have if, sold out so many times. If you feel there's a, a, a really qualitative difference between Democrats and Republicans as politicians, you're nuts. You know. Yeah. Hey, Phil, I have a question for you. We, how, how do you really feel about the president uh, attacking the news media and calling everything fake news? Really? He was right. No, he, how about about a month ago, maybe? I'm not sure exactly the time frame, but when the news media reported that he was about to let Rex Tillerson go, he called it fake news. It wasn't fake news. No. He does that a lot. What he's doing is he's discreet. You know what? With what's going on in the so in, in the Soviet Union, because it's going to be called that again at some point. With what's going on with Putin in Russia now, with those people who were killed in in England. There's right? only, only, they're, they're two. They're yeah. they're lingering. Wait a minute. They're lingering. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 they whoa. haven't died it's yet. Alleged. Alleged. How many critics of uh, Prime Minister May? have died in mysterious deaths in England. I never hear anything but about that. My you know, it's right now it's an allegation, just like the whole entire no, no, bullshit no, no. nonsense. Well, are, you, about are, you are you standing There's no are, Wait a minute, are you standing evidence. up for the fucking Russians on this one? 
my point uh, is that I'm saying there's no help. proof and it's all allegation. He's it's clear. Helpful. He's a clear thinker. And he's not so quick to uh, yeah. to jump on. Uh, well, let me throw so, let me throw let me throw a little something at you. Like the color the of his poison. Hair, the poison. Like his uh, hair. You listen to me, oh, Phil. Sure. Will you fucking listen to me? Jesus. Yeah, what's that? Can I get a word in on my own show? Uh, no. You're allowed twenty percent. Uh, the, the poison that was used in this particular event is only a product of the Russians. They yeah, they yeah, make that particular <laughs> that particular poison. Yeah, it was from the Cold War, uh, Alex, I, I, and it could have been sold off when uh, the Soviet Union collapsed. Well, why are you defending? I mean, come on, why? Are you, what, what are you defending the Soviet Union it, for? You also right, said you liked their fucking TV station the other night. But, you know, he's lucky. You this, know, this I, should, do I have to bring out my graphic on all the crimes of the fucking CIA? Well, no. Yeah, no I mean, you, you know, Russia's not a saint, but for Jesus John, Christ's sake, neither are we. John, come on. just think about this. There was the expiration date. If that if that stuff was made during the Cold War, uh, it, it went far beyond its expiration date, and that proved yeah, that, that right was that was like date. lying son of a bitch, Colin Powell's big sarin thing, you know, and why we needed to attack Iraq. That was total bullshit. All I'm saying, and all my point was though regarding, and I brought up Russia, was to say that. If we don't have a free press in this country, mm -hmm. then our leaders can assassinate their own enemies. But we don't have a free I press. We have a bunch of opinion makers. We have free I agree with you on that one. I we have on free that. press here. The, the, yeah. the, the, the jokers, the ones who are making shit up, are over on Fox. Uh, no, believe me, they're making shit up all over the place. But Rachel Maddow beat out Hannity. Uh, the uh, uh, last she week beats them out all the time. Yeah. Well, that's because they're the opposition right now, right? Fox yeah. does well when they're the opposition. And that's just all that is. There's all this whipping going on out there with all of this information. I mean, let's face it: you can't even keep up with the breakneck the breakneck speed of news. Who's resigning? Who's being fired? Every fucking day, it's a carnival. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, you know, my feeling is, listen, uh, listen, listen, what, Hitler, one of his main tactics when he was in office was to discredit the press. Uh, and yeah. right after he started discrediting the press, he started arresting them. OK, mm -hmm. uh, for one reason or another. This is the same course that Donald Trump is taking. Uh, Hands in the air, Bennett. Huh? Right. How can you right. be happy about the fact that Donald Trump will not take any kind of action against our election process? How happy can you be about that? If you're we a so that he hasn't taken. Oh, by the action. way, by the way, by the way, the rigging of elections. You. Hold on no, a second. The, do, it, do you know what? Uh, what else? Uh, that he's done nothing. Do you know what other election they think he he rigged? Putin. No. Which? Uh, uh, Brexit. No, the well, Brexit no, they, vote. I, we, wasn't that his first endeavor into screwing with us? Well, the, well, they are beginning to go back and start looking <laughs> at what might have happened back then, and they think the Brexit vote may have been uh, uh, fooled around with by the Russians. Who's she? Hmm? That's your new CIA director, baby, oh, Nurse I Ratchet. Haven't, I haven't seen her. Oh, so now there's a okay. woman. You'd like this, Renee. There's a woman who is now the head of the CIA. Well, I, she hasn't been confirmed yet. She, uh, hey, she, may, she, may, she may have a hard time getting confirmed, too. And, yeah. and for all we know, she's a house Negro. Yeah. Is she black as well? <laughs> no, see, I said Negro, not the N word. So it's she. All she's gonna do. The reason Rex Tillerson is out is because he actually is a CEO and he's actually a man and he actually has real opinions on how this United States should be run. So she is not that person. She is going okay. To be enough pictures. Enough pictures. The whole time, Johnny. Enough pictures. <laughs> Unless you can read German, that doesn't help. <laughs> it says I approve of. Uh, Gina, Gina Aspill. Ah, uh, yeah. I just, she's I, just all, she, all he's doing is the worst thing that you can I do with great her pictures, and is to fill yeah. your cabinet with people that are yes people, real men and yes, real women right. 
fill their cabinet with people who can bring points up, bring up different opinions, bring in different views. He's not doing any do you of feel, that. Do you feel comfortable with the idea, Phil, that when he was approached about talking to um, um, Kim Jong-un, uh, he immediately replied yes rather than consulting with anybody and seeing no. what they thought? Didn't talk to his State Department, didn't talk to anybody. Well, he said yeah. uh, he wanted a meeting, and uh, this is this is the way he operates. You know, he doesn't operate. How do you the feel? Way he... by, how do you feel that what Kim Jong Un has been begging for all along is recognition, and he's giving it to him? Yeah, no, he. It's fine to give it to him as long as he gets his nukes uh, and uh, collects well, them up. And why, gets, why should uh, he collect his nukes up when we won't remove our nukes and our ships and our armament? from being offshore off North Korea, both the well, Japanese and us. Maybe we will. No. You know, he removes his nukes. Oh, listen, all, all it has to happen is for Kim Jong-un to just be really nice to Trump. He'll give up everything. That's oh. right. That's oh, right. Oh. Treat him nice. Yeah. The guy, Trump has no government experience. Zero. He's a C CEO. His experience is in high-level real estate acquisitions, and he was, and he's, uh, he was, for which he was never, uh, you know, s such a great thing. He's got a lot of business failures. Uh, you know, what we've seen is the corporatization of the United States. We don't have civic-minded people. There are They are in government, but not at that level, because I showed you and the you graph. Also, you also the don't pe negotiate peace the same way you negotiate building a hotel. Yeah, right. That's right. How do right. you know? How do I know? How do you know? There's, there's negotiation. It's called, Phil, it's called logic. Hey, for the last 20 years, no one's negotiated anything with this guy. Uh, that is absolutely that's wrong. Terrible. You're absolutely that's wrong, Phil. Yeah, well, there has been no talks. There has there, been no There yeah, absolutely yeah, have been. There have been. Is throw Phil, money at Phil, him Phil, and, Phil, yeah. you're listening to, right now, you're listening to lies. Every president prior to him has at one point or another dealt with the North Koreans and talked about talks, but nothing ever came of it. But the fact is that they all had been talking to North Korea. Uh, Obama had, uh, so had, uh, uh, not personally, but, you know, through our emissaries, uh, so did uh, Bush and, and uh, um, I believe uh, Clinton, even Clinton before him. Hillary did, yeah, right. So, and also, uh, excuse me, Phil, but um, <clears throat> who exactly is our ambassador from South Korea to interface with the North Koreans? Yeah, well, who's our ambassador uh, to South Korea? Yeah. Hey, we're saving wait minute, money wait minute, by wait getting rid of all these ambassadors. But well, we're saving money by not having an ambassador in South Korea. He said they're too fat, and he's it's, saving it's, money. No, 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 no. See, he's going to get Dennis Rodman over there and say, guess what? You are now the new ambassador too. It's becoming clearly. Uh, it's becoming clearly. Uh, uh, you can see it as the plain as a nose on your face that there is no one who works in the Trump organization except for maybe three people that he could deal with. Think about it. Yeah. This is run like a mom and pop shop, and he's that's trying to run he, like the he's trying to run the American government like a mom and pop shop. That's the way he ran his business. That's he didn't not, have a lot of employees. But, but, but you're, you're president of the yeah, United the, States. The, right, a little... the presidency is not a goddamn business, Phil. Oh, well, maybe you need a fresh look at it. Dictator you know? is a business. A dictator, I've said this before, a CEO is a dictator. He sets policy all his minions, VPs, executive VPs, talk to their managers who talk to their employees and say, this is how it goes. That's not how gov our government is set up to work. Well, it's part of it is. No, that's yeah. not how our government it, is set up. That's a check and balance, but part Phil, of it Phil, is. Phil, Phil, look, oh, look, 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 we're trying, we're trying to talk to you, and you're a guy who doesn't even know the history of the fact God. that other presidents and other uh, administrations have dealt with the North Koreans. You know how they dealt with them? No. They oh, now you're going to make this one up too, huh? No, they gave them money. What they did was they, they tried to bribe them into doing Wait a nothing. I don't think they gave them a penny. I don't think they gave them a penny. Phil, they didn't give them a penny. That's not true. That is true. It's absolutely true, Phil. They didn't give them a penny. 
they allowed him to, no, uh, to no. create No, no. To is. begin with, him happens to be Kim Jong-un, who has only been the head of that country for what, a couple of years? Six years. We're talking about his father and his father's right. father and all That's the correct. presidents that have had to deal with him. And I think at no point have we given money at all to North Korea because of the Korean War. Do you remember that, Phil? The thing called the Korean War? Yeah, yeah, it was a police action. Yeah, and do you think we really wanted to give North Korea money after that? Especially that, at the expense so. of our friends in South Korea. No, yeah. we didn't do it, Phil. Don't start saying things that are, are blatantly untrue. That's not untrue. I know you're, you're looking it up. You're, you go to one of your right-wing Birchite sites and find something that somehow justifies your misguided ideas. Yes, Bob Eberth. Oops. Okay. Kim Jong-un is not going to do anything with Trump until he sees how Trump handles Iran. Because Trump wants to shut down all the treaty and everything with Iran. So what the fuck good would a treaty be with Trump until he sees how Trump handles Iran? Yeah, because we would be breaking a treaty we were involved in, and that, you're, it's a very good point, Bob. Yes, Renee. But also on that same point is the fact that that um, I think you brought it up last week, and I completely lost that in my head. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's gone. Uh, well, See, Mike, uh, Mike Pompeo, the the new Secretary of State, Pompeo. is definitely oppo opposed to uh, the Iran nuke deal that Obama worked out. Uh, even and Tillerson has came out publicly for it. So now, uh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but you're absolutely right. Uh, North Korea is probably waiting to see. What happens with Iran? I mean, it's a sensible uh, move. Uh, you know, we're, in terms of sense, we're, yeah, yeah, North Korea has always been a, a crackpot nation, but hey, we're a close second. I mean, if you look at the, the Trump that's, administration, give me a break. That was the point, was the fact that Trump is yeah. actually making Kim Jong un look much better. He is actually propelling Kim Jong un's actual cr street cred from right. what it was was the bottom to like well he's propelled him now. renee he's propelled him to the world stage right yeah. uh and, and that's exactly what it. kim jong-un has wanted all along with some kind and of recognition that somehow he was a danger and he had to be dealt with well, and, how do you and, guys? And now uh, Trump, Trump is playing into that, and the only person yeah. any talks are going to benefit is Kim Jong Un. Well, how do you guys figure in the display of North and South Korea during by the, way, the Phil, Olympics? By, by, by the way, hold on a second. Phil has his hand up, which means he found something on some kind of website somewhere trying to justify <laughs> his misguided opinions. Go ahead. Okay. Newsweek. Uh, um, US, U.S. aid from 1995 to 2008 with some interruptions uh, it's over four billion, and then uh, to North since, Korea. To North Korea. Since two thousand nine, there hasn't been any aid. Uh, oh well, some, okay. Some of the, uh -huh. some of the so and who's been president no. since two thousand nine? Let me finish. Who's Fact, been president uh, say, since two thousand nine, Phil? Uh, uh, Obama. Yep. Uh, uh, U.S. has been talking with North Korea for twenty five years. And that somehow they have been financially supporting North Korea for those 25 years. And the to talks have been inconclusive. Diplomatic efforts began in 1993. Um, it, it's a long article. But uh, basically, uh, they're saying this involved lifting sanctions in exchange for aid in the form of 500,000 tons of oil a year, four billion. And what? The and what? And what did? And, and what did? Uh, what did South uh, North Korea give them in return? Uh, they were supposed to uh, uh, allow uh, and and reduce nuclear uh, their nuclear okay. efforts. Okay, all right. So they were doing something to try and get them to do it, and they didn't they do it. They were buying it. They uh, lied to Trump him. They lied to him, money. just like they're going to lie to Trump, but they're going to kiss Trump's ass at the same time right. and put up a big picture of him uh, wherever he goes, and, and Trump's going to just eat that up and give him anything he wants. Hey, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. 
It's dangerous. We'll see like we're going to a spring event. What is amazing to me, Phil, and what's amazing to me, panel, is that, that there is absolutely no real attempt to hold Russia's feet to the fire for a lot of the things that, they, that, that we seem to know they did. Yes, Bob? Talking about what you're just talking about right now, Trump did all these uh, things recently with all the other countries trading with uh, North Korea, and yet the news services are showing where Russian ships are sh shutting off their transponders, meeting with North Korean ships that shut off their transponders so they're invisible in the ocean, and they're moving stuff on from the Russian ships to the North Korean ships. Where did and, you hear that? Bob, they can't see that on a satellite? What's going I on? don't know. Regardless. All I know is all I know is that they are moving stuff into North Korea from Russian ships. Oh, where'd you hear that? And yeah. the only ones that uh, Trump won't call on it is Russia. And this has been on CNN. It's been on MSNBC. It has been on some of the European stations I watch. Right. But it, it, you, so, don't, you don't watch Fox to see if it's been there, right? Uh, oh. So, Phil, you, the satellite would have to know where it would need to be in order to actually put a satellite there. To So, no, this is a big planet. Your satellites aren't... We don't have an entire web where our or our planet is being watched 24-7. Then how does Bob know that they're exchanging stuff with their transponders off? Because the news uh, were following those ships. They knew the names of the ships. They followed them from the port out and back into port. Ooh, Where were they following them? On a, uh, with, a, with a satellite? Uh, no. no. They physically followed them. Huh. That was actually a Richard Engel report on MSNBC. Is it? Well, I yeah. wouldn't know. And Richard Engel would be NBC rather than MSNBC. In other words, uh, what I'm saying well, is... Well, he, he does a report it, on MSNBC as well. Oh, does he? Well, I mean, what I'm saying is that his basic base yeah, is yeah, NBC, yeah, yeah. and the network news is a lot less uh, skewed than MSNBC is. Yeah, I, re I recorded that. I haven't watched it yet, but I saw that same report, yeah. 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 I, would, I do want to say that... We are missing, and, and I. This is, goes back to Alex's point. I am not afraid of Donald Trump. I am afraid of Putin and where this is all going to land, and it's going to land on the United States like a big pile of shit. By the way, uh, Jeff had his hand up. Jeff? Sorry, Jeff. Uh, thank you. I was just going to uh, say that in addition, uh, we have uh, uh, we have devices in the ocean. So we can measure different uh, uh, submarines and regular ships where they are. It's all done by what's called the sonar buoy system. And the United States has them all over the world. Uh, I don't know exactly how many they can measure. Well, how, how do they, they measure? Qu the question also would be how do they measure them if they turn off their transponders, as, as Bob was implying? That might make them more invisible, you know. Well, that may be true, but while the ship is 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 uh, got their engine on and they're moving, yeah, and the sonar buoys can pick them up. Yeah, they yeah, pick up the sound from the ship and the water displacement. Yeah, I brought up something today to Durst, and I'm going to bring it up. I brought it up before on this program, and I bring it up again in his speech on um, Saturday. The president in Pennsylvania uh, went after the press again, once again, and this time uh, he went after Chuck Todd at MSNBC, and he again vilified the press. I think it's time for the press to say. You know, we're, we're not going to be codependent on you anymore, okay? Because there is a codependency going on here between the press and Trump. And Trump somehow knows how to make the radar 
every single day. You know, when Obama was president, we go two, three days and not hear about what Obama did or didn't do. He just did his job. That's because he was clear. Will, the- will you shut up and let me just finish without interrupting, Phil? Please. I beg of you. Um, uh, and now you're taking your earphones off because you don't see now he's going away because he, you know, he doesn't want to hear what I have to say. I'll announce I, I have to pee. Oh, OK. He has to pee. <laughs> well, and I, and I forgot what I was going to say. One last good no, what I was going to say is they're, they're codependent on, on Trump and Trump knows this. And Trump constantly monopolizes the news. I'm so weary of hearing about him every day. Chuck Todd on Sunday on Meet the Press said, this week has been another Trump week. And he listed every day of the week, okay? Every day of the week. And what happened on that particular day? All right. Hey, you know, uh, wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just, uh, Johnny, Johnny, let me finish what I was saying. Okay. So my feeling is, hey, you know, I think it's time that we did something about this. And what they should do is say, fuck you, Trump. We're just not going to talk about you. You know, okay, if something happens like, you know, the Russians, the, uh, the, the South Koreans say that they need to, uh, they, the, the North Koreans say that they want to have a meeting with uh, the president, that's news. We'll report that. But the fact but, that you, uh, this guy went down to Philadelphia to give up stump speech. Don't broadcast it. What are you doing broadcasting the entire speech? You didn't do that for Obama when he went out on those stump speeches. You wouldn't do it yeah. for any other president. Why are you okay. doing it for why are you doing it for uh, Trump? Well, okay. yeah, that's the I, point I wanted to make was that uh, a, a major factor in getting Trump the visibility and, and ultimately getting elected was the all the free uh, media exposure that uh, the news yeah. gave to Trump. Yeah. I mean, they had his mug on all the time. What about Bernie? Uh, it didn't get the same kind of expo- yeah. uh, exposure. I had to watch Bernie live stream, uh, y- you know, on the internet to get some of his speeches. Not the same for Trump. Trump was yeah, just but what, blasted but I'm, what, all yeah, over the What place. I'm saying is, if they take a position of ignoring Trump and saying, we'll report you when we feel it's really newsworthy, but we're not going to, we're not going to do all the minutia that's going on every day. Uh, I think I think it would drive him crazy. Think about well, it. you know what, Alec. Bowen well, wait a minute. Let let, 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 really Rob, let, Rob, let Rob talk. Think about from a practical sense on that, because I agree with you. Those they shouldn't hold all of his rallies. They should not broadcast live his rallies and stuff. But think about how, like, when you when they they did a. A, a, a role on N, on CN on CNN about the last week and all of the stories. Where do you draw the line? There's so much going on that has to do with Trump. I agree. I wouldn't cover any of his, and I know why they do it because he blatantly calls them out, saying, "Oh, the you know the what do they call them? The mainstream media or whatever won't cover me talking about this." So they're probably going out of their way to say, "Look, we're covering everything you do." But there's so much news. You, how do, where do you draw the There's line? There's also more important Winston's news got, got going him. on. Stuff that stuff that affects each and every one of us that's falling under the radar because this guy's right. the crying baby. Exactly right. And they want to catch him at what he it, might say and how he might fuck up. Now let's that's bring Phil. Let's bring Phil into this. Phil, I'm I'm proposing that the press stop covering Donald Trump. You know, except when something very major happens. Uh, you know, uh, I think that, uh, their coverage is biased. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm, and that's not I, what I'm, that's I, not what we're talking about. I don't yeah, care whether you, you think said, it's biased. You, you oh. said that they are giving him too much coverage and that you think that they should play a, a mind game with him of not covering him just to make him apoplectic. And well, uh, don't you think he'd get apoplectic? No. Oh, oh. When do you when do you have enough with this guy? What does he need to do? Does he need to go on? What, what, ba- what baby? What baby? What baby? What baby? He's he doesn't belong in the White House. I just don't get it. What baby? What baby does he have to rape? Yeah, okay. I don't understand. When when will you realize that he won the election <laughs> fair and square? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. And no, let he him didn't. do his job. No, he didn't. 
He didn't win so, fair and square. That's being proved every day now. Hey, sorry, he ran it fair and square. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good sound effect. You got five of those, right, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, <laughs> hey, this is why Alec Baldwin has Alec to get Baldwin. going with his parody of Trump and just be on the air every day. Even I, if he's I, listen, I wish he would quit with that impression. I'm so really? sick. I'm so hey, sick I, I, of it. I'll, it is. I'll it has gotten. It has well, gotten. Well, he's got to amp it up. It's, it's gonna, no. It's gotten. Know. It's gotten worse. Actually, hey, Alec, uh, Trump, you know. Al, uh, Alec Trump. Alec Trump. Alec Trump. Alec. Alec uh, uh, what his name is? Uh, Baldwin. Uh, if you want to listen to uh, one of his best uh, uh, shows, listen to a. Uh, to a, a voicemail message he left his nine-year-old daughter uh, ca uh, calling her a bitch and a piece of crap. And, yeah, and, now, and we so, like, now we got some whataboutism. Now we got some whataboutism. You crack me up, Phil, because that, all right, you could point to that one message that he left his daughter in, in a fit of rage. What about everything that we've seen Donald Trump say and do? Alec Baldwin. The, all let me finish yeah. all of Howard Stern stuff, the the Billy Bush stuff, all of everything that we've ever heard him say. And you have the nerve to pick on one thing from Alec Baldwin. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me tell you, Alec Baldwin <laughs> is a piece of crap, too. He beat the shit out of his uh, wife, the one that lived down in Georgia. What? Uh, Wait a minute. Where, where, what? Did, where did you That's read that? Where did you read that, Phil? 20 years ago. Where, go go to, find it. Some actress go, the, go find it. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll keep him busy. I'll keep him busy. <laughs> keep him busy. <laughs> okay, so. I know how to shut up, Phil, now. I just say something. Prove it to me. Okay, Phil, prove it to me. <laughs> hey, Phil, calculate the value of pi. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, one, two, three. <laughs> three point one four is no, all you get. Take me. take it to the hundredth decimal. Anyway, uh, yes. Um, Tomorrow uh, is Pi Day. Uh, yeah. Oh, it is Pi Day. It is Pi right. Day. What do you mean? How's it Pi Day? Uh, it's three point one. Fourteen. March fourteenth. Every March fourteenth is Pi Day. Yeah, because pi is 3.14. Oh, I see, 3.14. Okay. Oh. But it's not 3.14. It's 3.14444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444444
a, a, among other things, a woman who is considered to be a nutbag, okay? But he's not, the, he's not the coolest guy in the world either. Cooler heads should have prevailed on his part, but they didn't. But that's long gone. You've never heard anything of that sort about him. That was like eight years ago or that's something? He, he, he raided Jack Lemon. He told him to put the coffee down, but you'd never know that quote because you didn't see the movie. I didn't movie. see the movie. The <laughs> distinction we can make about Donald Trump, although he plays him on TV, he is not the fucking president of the United and he's States. He's not the jackass. You know, I mean, I'm getting tired of the impression. I think that it's it's getting to the point where it's it's very predictable. And quite frankly, Saturday Night Live, I don't know how it's still on the air. To be honest with you, it is yeah, so unfunny. Last Great, Friday, last Great Saturday Night Lucci Show back. was the worst thing I've ever seen them do. Just and the bring, week before was Bellucci horrible. Back. Huh? You bring Bellucci back. He's dead. And, and Aykroyd. Yeah. So the big deal is, is, is there's two things happening. One, if you take a look at all the coverage of Donald Trump, I think the problem is, is that it tries to put a normalization on Trump of some sort or an acceptability. So we see him all the time. What's the goofy jackass doing this time? So this keeping him in front of us all the time is 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 trying to force us into accepting his immature adolescent lifestyle well, and and i don't like that well we have so little expectations about him that when we <laughs> know that when we hear something about he cheated on his wife while his wife uh, current wife just gave birth which you know yeah. if you're a good christian you don't even believe he should have been cheating at any time but they don't seem to be bothered by that over at those, uh, you know, Baptist conventions. Uh, fucking hypocrites. Hip fucking hypocrites, yeah. But the point is that we've had such lowered expectations of him that we, uh, we, oh, that's just Donald, you know. And we allow behavior on his part. If Obama had done it, well, to begin with, uh, his wife would have killed him. Michelle would have killed him. But uh, if he had done it, oh, the the Republicans would be so apoplectic. Oh, he had sex with somebody. Look how they got when when uh, 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 what's his name? Um, um, uh, Clinton. Yeah, that's okay. Clinton. Forget had, his Clinton. Name. Let's not say it. Clinton, <laughs> Clinton had not. Uh, yeah, You're if you fine. say if you say it three times, he'll come I mean, back. Dick knows. Um, but Clinton. Uh, look at how they treated Clinton for cheating, and that was you know he was just getting a blowjob. Yeah, uh, hey. Don't say Beetlejuice three times. You know, you guys yeah. have no uh, memory of Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe. And he even... Neither, you know, neither, neither, with, neither, neither does anybody else because you can't prove happened. it. You can't prove it. It, it. No, it happened. No it happened. It happened. You got any photos of it? He, he, and, Bo he, and, he and Bobby Kennedy were two-timing her. Yeah. No, they weren't. That's fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Yeah, fake where are you news. getting your stuff yeah. from? Fake news? No, I mean there there is no uh, uh, proof that they uh, had uh, affairs with them. I listen. Because the press didn't cover it the same way they do. You uh, know why? You know why? I'll tell you why, Phil. Uh, and I, I've explored this in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, when I first started out in this business, we all knew that Kennedy was having affairs with people. In fact, there was an actress who we he saw more than any other that never her name never comes up in any of the discussions, uh -huh. huh? Judith Axner? No, 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 no. That that was uh, that was the mobster's girlfriend. Uh, no, uh, uh, Glynis Johns. There was an actress named Glynis Johns. She was a British actress. She lived in this country. Did American films, and he had basically an ongoing affair with her. And the press knew about it. They knew about it. Every one of them knew he was having an ongoing affair with Glynis Johns. They didn't report it because part of the code of the press at that time was that was the kind of thing he didn't report because it was none of your business you know it was, but did uh, all of that change when the who was the guy that was running for president as a democrat he was on some uh uh, uh boat oh yeah 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 funky. gary uh, gary um collins. Uh, no not gary collins uh, gary oh, hart. Oh, hart gary hart yeah. Very hard. yeah 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 that's when things the monkey changed. business the monkey yeah, business that's, that's when things change that was close to it, uh, you know, but that didn't really kick it off either. I just think that what's happened is, is we have a whole media now that is, is rumor crazy. 
You know, and they're there. Salacious, salacious stories. These, a lot of these stories would not. It, it, Trump having an affair with Stormy Daniels wouldn't even be reported back in the in the fifties and six early sixties. You know, because that's what the news has been reduced to is 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 salacious stories. No, they're not reporting the news. No, it's Trump, what the American Trump public has been brought down to because the news are only going to do what they think is going to get them an audience. And if the people don't watch that kind of stuff, and if they refuse to watch that kind of stuff, then it's not going to happen. Well, that that's what they watch. I mean, look at what's on TV today. This is this is the kind of stuff uh, we've been reduced to. We deserve Trump. Well, what's wrong with what's on TV today? Eek. Most of it's crap. It, it's uh, well, you know, it's, well, it's crap. Uh, it's crap to you, but to the average American who voted for Trump, it isn't crap at all. They watched The Apprentice right. for Christ's sake, and that was the most boring piece of shit ever invented. You they watch The deserve. Bachelor. They watch the other. Who is the Duck Dynasty? Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Yeah, Duck Dynasty. We reap. Yeah. We sow. Hey, wait a minute. What about Longmire? Longmire is a great show. I miss it. I'm, I'm a Longmire. Well, I, I happen to be a big fan of Gotham. Uh, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, I've been watching uh, the uh, Jessica Jones second season. Uh, we, we just finished yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, what did you think? It was okay. It was okay. It wasn't as good as the first. Westworld. Uh, no, it was, it was as good as the first, but it was different. Yeah. Oh, don't, Scott doesn't want to know about it, so don't tell him what goes on. <laughs> Okay. But, when, is, when does Westwood come back? Westworld. Uh, Westworld. I when think September. It? No, I think it's what? the end. I think no, I think it's the end of this month actually. Oh, the really? March. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then Star Trek Discovery. Really, really hot show. Yeah, but it doesn't know. come back for another year yet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But so Jamie there's good there's good stuff on TV, you know. And but no, but I that's not that's not T that's not TV though. That's not TV. That's outside of TV. Channels. Yeah, that's right. You know, there's just a thousand just, channels. You know, you, you're gonna find something good. Like, like he says, somebody's right twice a day. The clock, broken clock. You know, uh, there's so the the people's minds well, have been network, reduced. The to half, total the, drift. half the problem is network TV would get better if we took the chains off of them. If we allowed them to do whatever they wanted to do, if they wanted to use nudity, let them use nudity. If they wanted, if they want to use four-letter words, let them use four-letter words. Let them just have the freedom to do whatever they think artistically they need to do. I, don't they do that in France? Oh, Alex, they do it everywhere. You know, they allow uh, swear words England, and nudity. England, and yeah, stuff. England. There's no problem with that. France is no yeah, problem with that. Yeah. But every other country in the world has television. There's no censorship that way. It's just yeah. here. Just here, yeah, yeah, you know, um, uh, you know, and that's why that's why an HBO or a Netflix is so popular is because they have the freedom to do the kind of uh, uh, plots and stories and stuff that they can, you know, would not be able to get away with if they did them on broadcast television. They're yeah. popular because they don't have commercials. No, uh, yeah. I can, I can, uh, you can, uh, you, believe it or not, if you subscribe to Hulu. You can watch yeah. American television without commercials. Yeah. Yep. You pay but, an extra three dollars a month. Pay an extra three dollars a month, like I do, and I can watch any of the network shows without commercials. Right, but Netflix and and uh, HBO they they were early innovators uh, in this uh, non-commercial situation. No, HBO and, was the innovator. However, however, Netflix improved on the model. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this that model, uh, you know, caught on. People didn't mind paying for a specific channel uh, above and beyond their cable service. If it gave uh, them what they wanted. You yeah. know, if it didn't give them what they wanted, they wouldn't pay for it. Well, we'll see what it's going to be in five years from now, how much you're going to be paying for Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so already, already I'm paying an extra... I was paying twelve ninety nine a month for it instead of nine ninety nine because I wanted the four K channels. I wanted it yeah. in four K, yeah. and then they no, then they then they jumped it up another two dollars. I'm now paying fourteen ninety nine for something I used to get for eight ninety nine. Well, yeah, I don't have a four K TV. I don't have a four K TV, so therefore I am happy not paying the extra money. Why don't you have a four K TV? I thought you had everything else you wanted to buy. Why don't you buy a fucking four K TV? Because I'm happy with my 1080p. 
Uh, I, I, you won't I'm, be if you get a 4K. I just well, I just forked out for a 4K. Ignorance uh, is bliss. <laughs> but uh, I need a new sofa. <laughs> but uh, you should talk to Rob's wife. Whatever cl club she joined that got him that television. Oh, that thing. That, yeah. price, that was pretty killer price. It, it's not. It's not really the money. It's it's the TV's already here. I don't want to lift it up, take it out. What am I going to do well, with it? Well, the new ones you wouldn't school. have trouble with because they're lighter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, My they're way lighter. Is uh, is is there? And hey, I, I'm happy. By with the it. way, I saw something tonight. You know, you talk about I, phones. Uh, I I don't care whether I have the iPhone X. I don't give a shit if I have the new Samsung because <laughs> you know who gives a shit. You know, I mean, I you can only do so much with the phones to improve them to make me yeah. interested. All right, I saw a phone tonight. I want. Yeah, uh, what's that? Have you seen what the new? It? Have you seen the no, new uh, Motorola Razor Four? No. Flip phone. Really? No, they did flip phone. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You're not going to believe this. You open it up, and it's a full screen. Just like you have on an iPhone, just like you have on any other, it just it folds. And then on the front of the of the part you fold over, it has another screen that tells you the time and things like that. And it also has buttons you can push to do use the touch screen and all of that. But it literally is now a flip phone that folds, but when you open it up, it is as full a screen as you get on an uh, iPhone or on a Samsung. It's really cool. Yeah, but hey, you want I, to I, throw away your Apple Watch. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Phil, I checked out that idiotic 16 lens piece of bullshit you were pushing oh, uh, a few right. weeks ago. Yeah. I'm not impressed with the photos at all. They look washed out. There's sections of them that are overexposed. I mean, what the hell is that for two grand? What you a piece of garbage. Decent monitor, John. Uh, uh, a friend I, hey, I, you know, it's part of my business. Mine, yeah. uh, was uh, photographing a uh, prize fight, uh, a, 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 a top prize fight, uh, about eight months ago. And uh, one of the guys at ringside had one of those, and he showed him uh, the, uh, what it did. And my friend said it was phenomenal, but he's not paying two grand for it. Uh, for, uh, Most people don't know what you're talking about, so you better explain it. it it's called the Light uh, or Lights L16, and L16. it's a camera that's about the size of your cell phone that's got 16 lenses in it. And it looks like a bug. Yeah, yeah, it's got lenses <laughs> all over it. And uh, what it does is it takes these pictures. It's I think it's like a handheld HDR device, if you if you ask me. Whereas it takes all these pictures, so it it gets uh, it gets the perfect picture uh, with with all those lenses. Well, I didn't see that on the demo shots when I went to their website. I I think that they could do a lot to improve their website. Oh, probably, but uh, you know, uh, from the one guy that I know that saw one in person. He said, and, and who happens to be a fantastic photographer, uh, it, it, he said it was pretty cool, uh, but not going to buy one. Yeah. Thank so, God for small yeah. favors. Yeah. But uh, by the know, way, I'm, by the way, Phil in less than a week is having his operation. So let's all keep a good thought out for him. OK. Yeah. yeah applause. Uh, I, you know, I, I can't wait. Wait. Uh, today at 28 uh, minutes after the hour. I knew that you were going to finish your thing, and I'm standing there over the toilet saying, "Come on, come on," you know. <laughs> and you know, and then when you said, "Hey, let me say something," I said, "Oh, this is a good break time." <laughs> and uh, you know what I was asking for earlier finally came. Yeah, well, just wait till the next time you want to have an orgasm. Dust will come out. Hey. <laughs> I haven't had one in so long it doesn't matter. But, uh, well, the one, but, thing the, one thing the Cialis does because it, it softens the prostate is orgasms are not as profuse as they once were. You know, TMI. But, what, what, what do you mean TMI? So you're a woman. So tell us something wrong with your vagina. We don't, you know. Mine's fine, thank you very much, because I have health care. But for millions of women across the United That's States, correct. 
That's well, correct. It always, it always comes back to my vagina is better than your vagina. Huh? <laughs> you know what I found out that really pissed me off because Rob pointed it out the other day. All these years, the last couple of years, we kept getting these things from Optimum RX, which was part of Oxford, right? Saying, come with us, buy 90 days at a time, have us send you your pills. And we're going, what do we want the pills sent for? We can get them right here. And here. Well, the thing is, if we had done that, we'd probably be getting some of the same prices we're getting now with this new plan that we have. And I'm saving two thirds off my pharmacy bill with this new plan. So well, after the last Republican budget, they dropped over seven million Americans from health care. So that's great that you've got health care. Yeah. But there seven, are other Americans seven out there. Americans said that they didn't want to participate. They didn't drop them. If they wanted to stay, they could continue buying yeah. health. This had nothing to do with the ACA. These were from your cuts. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, don't don't, we, don't blame that. him for the cuts. His fucking Republicans he voted for. Yeah. Well, and when are you stupid Republicans going to start talking about the people who are really dragging your party down, which is actually the Tea Party <laughs> within the Republican Party? See, there's one thing, Phil, to be conservative. There's one thing to be right wing. That's politics. But there's quite another to be a decent human being who cares about people. That has nothing to do with left or right. That's why I like the John Birch Society. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. That was, that's for only white people. John Birch Society only cares about white people. Uh, no, no. There are black members of the John Birch Society. You should watch their no web. No way. Prove yeah, it. yeah. They, they parade them on. Oh. They parade them out. So I saw um, Get Out. The movie yeah. over the weekend. Yeah, have you guys seen it? Yeah, no, no. Well, it's, uh, it's a horror show, right? No, <laughs> dude, you are. It sucks your movie. Yeah, don't, don't, it. don't do any spoilers because we got Scott here who never sees anything, and so and therefore Scott, you gotta watch it because you're good enough to laugh your ass off on it. I saw too. Godless and it sucked. Oh, really? I like Godless. Godless. I love Godless. You didn't uh, think Jeff I, Daniels you'll, was you'll, terrific? It, hmm. You didn't think Jeff Daniels was terrific, Scott? It was the only good thing about that whole show. Okay. All right. One guy out of 20 hours of boredom. Yeah, well, I, I have Get Out here because I got it as a screener for SAG, and I've got to show it again to Girlfriend because she went to see the movie with me, and I love the film, but she didn't. she wasn't that crazy about it. You know. Well, I, I don't know if I love it, but it was really good at, at its message. I, I, and it I, was, I, well, if, if they're, they're really, I don't know, if the, the only thing I think that it, it did that was remotely special was uh, finally they did a horror film that black people can truly be scared of. No, the <laughs> jokes know? are funny. The jokes, the jokes about white people are funny. Yes. And, and, and if they did it, that about black people, would it be funny? Yes. It'd be hilarious. We've yeah. do, been doing that for We've been doing what? it for years. We just stopped and doing blackface and minstrel years ago. That's all. Yeah. 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 I saw the last half of Death Wish because I got to the theater a little early. So The know, latest that, version of Death Wish? You went to actually see version. that? The original? Yeah, I saw the last half of it before I went in. No, the Bruce Willis one. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Like, why the yeah, hell? It wasn't bad. I, I enjoyed no, the last he's half. He's not giving any of my fucking money. He's and, gone. Uh, and then. Hey, I like Bruce Willis, and he's he's a Republican. That, in one film, remember, he was uh, driving golf balls at a Greenpeace ship. Yeah. Was it you one know, of you? Hitting, uh, wait, Greenpeace wait, wait, was, it, was it one of you that wrote me? Because I always joke about the fact that I, I really want to see the movie Black Panther. I went to it, but I still want to see it because the projection was so dark that we couldn't oh. tell. And was it somebody yeah. wrote me and said they had the same problem at their theater? No, I didn't. See I it. think it might have been Ray Renati. Ray Renati, yeah, he yeah. said he had All the right. same exact problem. He went to the theater, and it was, it was too, yeah. Apparently, you know, some of these theaters are just fucking up proje projection like crazy. 
Well, see that, you know, that's, you can't have, we used to, as nerds, have this conversation. Yeah. Where to go? What is the best screen movie movie screening area within your theater within your area? And go to that one for the science fiction or the you know for all of the really good action stuff. Yeah. But none of us live near anybody else to have that kind of conversation about what the best theater is for you know who's got the best surround sound, who's got the best projection. We don't get no, to see no, that. But this was a case of not that they didn't have good projection. It's just they weren't projecting it like they should. You know, somewhere the light was too down. And I was the only one in the theater that noticed it, but I couldn't tell what was going on on the screen. Can the light be down on a digital projection? Uh, uh, it can be, yes. Yeah. If it was shot a particular way. No, it isn't so. a matter of being shot a particular way. It's a matter of... Uh, you know, yeah, they made it sounds have, like a technical issue with the projection. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, the bulb was it wasn't bright yeah. enough or whatever. Yeah. They and they can turn. That's the, if they use film, they would have a bulb. But so uh, if that's a problem. So I see. Oh yeah, I yeah. I only have one movie theater to choose from. Well, I took. To, oh, we have a new theater. <laughs> yeah. So I I go crazy over this because I I'll put a shout out on on Yelp or something like that. For God's sake, do I have to drive to Hilo to get a good movie theater? This, this was the same theater that I went to a few months ago and to see a movie in 3D and sat there and the movie comes on and it's not in 3D. <laughs> and, and 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 everybody's sitting there with their glasses on, and I'm finally I go down to the to the uh, uh, to the manager, and I said, "The th picture in uh, in in st uh, uh, you know uh, st uh, theater six, theater six, or theater si four, or whatever, uh, is yeah. isn't in 3D." And he said, "Well, wait a minute, let me see if we're showing it in 3D, right? Oh, it's yeah, yeah. Well, it's supposed to be 3D in that theater." I said, "Well, it's not." And he goes up and he looks and he says, yeah, I guess it's not in 3D. And he says, you want your money back? I said, you just wasted my fucking time. You know, <laughs> oh, here, we'll give you a ticket to see it again. I went, oh, give me a break, you know. Hey, I, I had to shoot a music I, I, video. You know, but wait a minute, let me finish booth. it, let me finish it. But yeah. these people were yeah. sitting there, nobody else was complaining. They all had their 3D glasses yeah, on and thought they <laughs> were seeing a movie in 3D. <laughs> hey, the emperor I, has no clothes. I, yeah. I had to shoot a music video in a projection booth in the late 80s or early 90s. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever been in a projection oh, booth. Oh, God damn and it. There was a toilet right next to the to the projector. And, you know, I got a big kick out of that. I said, is that real? And the projectionist said, oh, yeah. I said, you know, I mean, this was when they were still shooting, uh, you know, projecting film. Yeah. And the guy says, we can't leave here. You know, if we have to go take a dump or a pee or something. That toilet, that's why it's there, you yeah. know, and it, arms. Yeah, well, the now, that, now there isn't seen. even a uh, projectionist. Well, but you said some, you were bothered by something there, Renee. Did you get some bad news or something? Stephen Hawkins has passed away, and oh. fucking Donald Trump is still breathing. The oh. smart one of the Stephen smartest men on the goddamn planet is gone. Oh, wow. Uh, Stephen Hawking is dead. Do you know, uh, actually, that's yeah. amazing. That, how, how old does it say he was? Does it say? I just picked it up. I'm only getting it from one news source at the moment. Because so I, I looked be up. At, Feel free huh? to verify. It would be fake news. Yeah. He, I uh, I uh, was looking up ALS the other day because it happens to be a factor in Jessica Jones. I'm not ruining anything for you. And, and I, <laughs> I I wanted to uh, I wanted to see what, you know, uh, I, I wasn't that familiar with ALS and what its symptoms were because yeah. who knows if I have them, you know. And, uh, and, no, you don't and, have. and they, they did they did a they wrote up they said you can only uh, most people only live about eight years with ALS and that Stephen Hawking is probably one of the longest people to live with yeah. ALS he's like yeah. he lived 50 yeah. years with it so far so I'm wondering how how old he is now and how uh, you know he probably has lived beyond his biggest expectancies you know well, he was playing baseball in his twenties. Yeah, yeah. No, he was he was in pretty good shape till his thirties, right? When did that all start hitting? Uh, it was his twenties. Yeah. So you know, I I'd say maybe he was in his seventies. Um, I think it said he was seventy six. Oh, 76, really? Seventy six. Yeah. Okay. Well, that then he, you know, you could say, oh darn, we're really sorry about that, but he outlived any possible, you know. But 
On that note, just to let everybody know, and I don't know the differences, so don't ask me, there are different versions of ALS. And there are some that will take you in within two years, and there are some. But to say that Stephen Hawkins has outlived it longer than anybody else in that particular category of that version of it. So, yeah, by far, he outlived it. But we needed his brain, God damn it. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, uh, at some point he was going to die anyway, even if he didn't have ALS. I think he willed his brain to science. I sure as hell hope so, but he is the science. You know something? Anytime we have willed, and people have willed their brain. He should have willed his brain to Trump, for God's sakes. You know, Ah! You know, uh, look, do you do you realize how bad Trump would be if he were smart? Oh, you know, know, I'm I had to do a a, a, what do they call it? A DNR and 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 a directive and and a few other things. And it crossed my mind about possibly if something happened, donating my body to science, you know, like, uh, (laughs) you know, I'm donating all my organs. So, you know. Just to offset some of you. Well, what you should do is in your DNR, put in there DNR, but first make sure that Alex gets the mini mini Mac. Yeah. (laughs) So I've I've got a Catholic friend who says that he he will refuse to donate any of his organs because he has to have them all because when he gets to the gate of heaven, there's nothing allowed to be removed from him that because uh, he won't get in. Well, that's why he won't donate his. Did organs. he ever have his tonsils removed? I don't know. After I heard that, I was just like, you know, what a stupid, short-sighted, dumbass thing to say. It's, Must it's have been a religion. It, 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 because he's that Catholic, of, he's that far into the Catholic religion that the Catholics believe that shit. I really they should only go. want your soul. I, I really. Oh, hi, Kevin. Well, you've hardly said anything tonight, Kevin. Eh, I can't get a word in. Say, say, get, okay, get some words in edgewise here. Anything uh, <laughs> griping you today? Anything pissing you off? No. Just this. This just this guy out here in California. Uh, How's your knee? Oh, oh yeah, he's out there this uh, tonight, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he's out there. <laughs> yeah, he's he's wall shopping. <laughs> yeah. he's wall, That's the real Walmart. wall shopping. He's wall shopping. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> so just Simple son of a bitch was down there. He talking shit about the governor and the whole bit. And mm-hmm. oh my god, the how governor many, deserves. How, how many? Firing by said, tweet. What else? It's about states' rights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What about it? What about that really big river? You know, it's kind of a big, huge, very wide body of water that's what actually kind of his ass. He's holding up that stupid map, showing a map of before and after, and we're we're stopping 90, 95% of the people now. We're going to go all the way and go 99%. Why can't, why doesn't 95 work? Actually, when he first became president, people coming over the border had had waned a great deal, I guess, out of a certain fear of trying to see what he was going to do. And when they finally saw that he really wasn't getting anything accomplished, it's back up to where it was. (laughs) It was just a joke. Today was just amazing. And and by the way, instead of taking them over that border, they're now packing them. I uh, wonder if you saw this on 60 Minutes. They're packing them in... uh, in uh, uh, big <clears throat> giant truck. trucks, and they're suffocating yeah. to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and because of, while, yeah. is NAFTA still in play? Is NAFTA still in play? Uh, yes. So the trucks still have kind of a, a, a what is that thing when you a fast pass to get through the actual border area? Some truck companies do that and so they're now we're going back to this routine because we've tried this before where they're putting people in the trucks and they're actually dying you, you, you know, or, or the truck drivers just well what's them fascinating the is the two countries he left out of this embar- you know this the tariff deal is canada and mexico but it's because he had to because they're Man. part of nafta right and he couldn't apply those tariffs to them if he did he'd be Negating NAFTA, which he has no right to do unless they, you know, renegotiate. Renegotiate. So uh, he's stuck. He's stuck with NAFTA. But um, you know, I, I, I just—it's going to be. It, it's just. 
it's this is all terrible. It's just oh. you, you know the uh, some of the uh, construction workers or the labor construction labor unions in California are talking about not allowing or uh, voting to not work on any part of the wall in California uh, or manufacture any part of it in California. So we'll see where that goes. I bet you it'll uh, it'll get built by either a private enterprise or the Army Corps of Engineers. Well, hey, you also Phil. heard that the head of the, the director of ICE resigned today in California. Yeah, in, well. right. That too, yeah. Yeah, because, because he was tired of Trump boasting that uh, there was 800 that got away from uh, Libby Schaaf's uh, yeah. talking crap last well, week. They're suing Libby Schaaf, so we'll see. Yeah, what... I know, but he, he you know, uh, Trump was running around saying that 800 of them got away because of her, which is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, have, I don't have my theme song here. Let me see here. Do I have any uh -oh. theme song? Hey, Phil, how many Republican presidents does it take to build a fucking wall? <laughs> One, Donald Trump. <laughs> no, it's it's been at least four. Is that correct? Bush built part of the wall. Trump wants to build part of a wall. Reagan built part of a wall. Who was the, uh, so three of them? It's so far it's gonna it's taken it's taken three. And it's Lincoln, gonna be four. Lincoln. So None yeah, you guys got a good track record there. Hey, did you see that story from the New York Post about a United Airlines a flight attendant that forced the, uh, some. Passengers to put their dog in oh, an overhead go. bin. The dog died. <laughs> hey, listen, I uh, yeah, you put him in the overhead bin. The dog died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to put dogs in the overhead bin. Anyway, hey, listen, that I finally found my theme song. I finally got it to work. Uh, by the way, uh, Rob, your promo superb, a work Thanks. of genius. <laughs> uh, I'll, maybe I'll play it tomorrow night on here so everybody can hear it. Hey, listen, Scott Boddicker, God bless you for being here tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, I'll tell you all about Jessica Jones later. Uh, Phil Meyer, thank you. <laughs> Did you see the first one, by the way, Scott? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Then I think you'll like the second one. Uh, okay, good. Renee thank Collins, you. thank you. Bob Ebert, thank you. John Perulis, always uh, thank you. Rob Alfano, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Jeff Stein, love you. And Kevin, uh, you didn't say much tonight, but you fill up a space, so call us anyway, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, that's our citizens panel, and if they're, you're really nice to them, I think they'll all wave goodbye. Go ahead, guys, wave goodbye, and gal. That's our citizens panel for tonight. Let me... Uh, let me get rid of them here so that we can uh, 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 get the Skype ready for the next show after this one, which is Intersection with uh, Jack and Amy. And then uh, right after that will be Connections at Midnight right here on GabNet. And tomorrow at uh, 8.30, it's our sports show and at... Uh, 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 with uh, Franchise MC. Damien's on at 9.30. They'll be here tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. I gotta get out of here. I'm running late. <laughs>